In this video, we'll identify different types of cable actuated rim brake calipers and we'll guide you to the appropriate repair help video if it exists in our collection. If you're working with disc or hydraulic brakes, we have links to that content in the text description below. Caliper identification is part of our video series, The Park Tool Guide to Rim Brakes. Watch this video to see how we've organized the content of the series. Otherwise, let's begin. Hello, Calvin Jones here with Park Tool Company. First, let's look at the dual pivot calipers. We can identify dual pivot calipers by noting each arm has a separate pivot and they are pulled together by a cable from the side. The dual symmetric pivot caliper is also pulled from the side with a separate pivot for each arm. However, both pivots are on the side. Watch our dual pivot video when working on the dual symmetric pivot systems as the process is nearly the same. This is the side pull caliper. Both arms share a single pivot and are pulled together by a cable from the side. This is a center pull caliper, often seen on vintage bikes. Each arm has a separate pivot above the rim. The arms are pulled together by a cable from the center of the brake. Here is a linear pull or V-brake caliper. Each arm mounts and pivots below the rim. Calipers are pulled together by a cable from the side. These are both cantilever brake calipers. Each arm mounts below the rim. Caliper arms are pulled from the center by a cable carrier. This is a cantilever caliper with smooth stud brake pads. The smooth stud passes through a bolt head and is secured with the nut on the backside of the caliper arm. This cantilever caliper with threaded studs has a series of washers and spacers here and the pad is secured with the nut here. The U-brake calipers are typically found on BMX bikes and older mountain bikes. The mounts are located above the rim similar to a center pole. Arms are brought together by a cable pulled from the side or in this example with a straddle wire carrier. And that concludes our rim brake identification video. If you haven't seen it yet, be sure to watch this video for an explanation of how we've organized our rim brake video series. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for the latest videos from Park Tool.